Sophia here from mygreatchallenge.blogspot.com and yes, this is week 8 and week 9 combined together for my Weight Watchers weight loss journey. So yes, that's true, I did not do a video last week and there's a reason for that. I didn't lose any weight last week. I went to my meeting, I got on the scale and I was still 167, exactly. Didn't lose, didn't gain, I guess I'm on a plateau, I'm not sure. So I wasn't disappointed, I was actually pretty glad that I didn't gain anything. I would have liked to lose another, you know, couple of ounces here and there, but I was fine with it. And um, I think there was a reason for that. It was kind of like that time of the month, you know, blah, 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 hormones and stuff. So I'm okay with it. But I went to my meeting yesterday for week nine and I lost weight again. And I think that it shows, like it really does show. So anyway, let me show you how much I lost. And then I got to talk to you about what's going on next week. I got to go on my uh, um, app. Okay, so... I went to the meeting yesterday and I lost another two pounds. So now, as you can see, I was 178.2. I'm not 165. So here's last week where I plateaued and I was exactly the same. And I'm going back down again. You see that? Okay. So all together so far, nine weeks, I lost 13 pounds and two ounces. 13 pounds and two ounces. I'm almost at 10%. I need to lose another four pounds to get at 10%. And I think what really helped this week was the fact that I, ooh, I am running out of um, space on the camera. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm, I've been doing basement organization downstairs and I totally ran out of space. I forgot to download it. So anyway, as I was saying, what I think really, really worked for me this week, I think it's the fact that I've increased my eating of vegetable burgers. You see, we have... We tend to have meat every night and what happens is that because I eat most of my food for breakfast and lunch and snack throughout the day at work because, it, you know, I just have to eat. Otherwise, I'm very busy at work and if I don't have food every three hours or so, then I start to, you know, get sluggish or I get dizzy or, you know, so I try to eat consistent uh, snacks or at least foods every three or so hours when I'm at work. So by the time I get home at 6, 6.30, I may have maybe just 9 or 11 points left. So if I eat a meat or like for instance a beef or even like a, some kind of pork chops or chicken, that's a big chunk of those 9 points. So I find that dinner for me really was not all that filling. I was constantly going to bed hungry and that's a feeling that I do not want to have. Even though it's kind of like reinforcing the whole idea that you know I'm losing weight, this is a good thing. Going to bed hungry is not good for me. I just don't like it. I get cranky and um, I, don't know, I just don't think it's healthy. So what I've been doing is when we have meat, I'm not going vegetarian, but instead of having meat every single night, on those nights where I know I'm going to need to eat a little bit more or at least be a little bit more filled up with food, I switch to vegetable burgers. So I eat them um, and it, you can get any brand. You can get like Boca or Dr. Prager's or whatever. Those are all, all very, very good. Um, so what I've been doing is that while everybody else is having a full juicy nice beef burger, um, yum, uh, I would have a one of those burgers that are vegetables, you know, veggie patties basically. I put them in the oven so they, there's no grease or no oil, nothing on it. So I just put them in the oven. If you have a toaster oven, it works just fine. You can also put them in the microwave, but they get soggy. So I prefer to put them in the oven for, you know, 10 minutes, something like that. And then I would have some of those um, wheat thins. They're kind of like breads, but they're very, very thin. I've talked about those before. So the wheat thins are three points and the veggie burger is two points. So I have a burger that's five points that allows me to have some vegetable with a little bit of butter on it for one point, so that's six. And then I can still have salad with a little bit of dressing. So that's a nice plate. We're talking like a seven, eight point meal. That's a pretty, pretty large portion. And then if I still have some points, I would have maybe like a one point or two point, sometimes three point Weight Watcher ice cream, and that just satisfies me for the night. So that's a little bit of the changes that I've been making last week, and it works. I've lost an extra two pounds, so 13.2 so far. Pretty, pretty good. I'm very happy. I'm definitely feeling it. My pants are falling off of me, and now I have to either change pants. I don't want to go and buy stuff yet because I'm not where I want to be. But I'm probably going to have to like start wearing belts because the back of my pants is actually touching the ground and getting dirty. And since we're changing season and there's more rain and we're going to have snow coming up, that's not a good look. 
Um, the other thing I wanted to tell you about is that next week we are going to Ohio for, you know, four days. And over there, the food choices are very limited. When we go to my husband's family, we tend to go out. It's not necessarily for breakfast, but definitely for lunch and dinner. So I don't know how I'm going to do next week. I have to be honest. And there will be no video next week either because I'm not going to go to my meeting and I won't be able to get weighed in. So what's going to happen is that there's going to be a lapse of probably two weeks next week and then the following Saturday. I can't tell you the date, probably the 10, 11, the 18th, I'm going to go to my meeting and then I'll do a video on the 20th or 22nd and then it will report back on two weeks. So I'm, I'm crossing my fingers that while I'm away, I'm going to be able to make good choices and better decisions in terms of eating out, you know, choose the salad or only have like a little bit of something, appetizers instead of dinners, because I really don't want to sabotage myself. It's bad enough that we went out yesterday to an Irish pub and we really, really ate a lot. So last night I probably used all of my 49 points extra for this week, plus some. Um, the only thing that I did, because we knew we were going to eat and not, you know, spare, I guess, um, yesterday is that we kind of like fasted all day long. So I had a lot of fruit and very, very light. So by the time I got to the dinner, I had 19 points left and, you know, probably ate those all up in just the appetizer and then, you know, whatever meal we had. And we had dessert and we had wine. So this week I'm going to have to be very, very careful and not go overboard probably be very light on breakfast and dinner, have good lunches at work because I don't want to start stalling the, the whole diet based on the fact that I'm going away next weekend. All right, so that was my update. Again, I started at 178.2. Nine weeks later, I'm at 165. I've lost 13.2 pounds. This Weight Watcher journey is working out for me. I'm feeling great. Um, you know, I've noticed something too. The last time I did Weight Watcher, that was in June of 2011 or something like this. I've noticed that I was losing hair a lot. And I think it was because of the shock my body went into. But I'm not losing hair this time around. So I'm pretty happy with this you know, journey so far. I haven't noticed any kind of like change in my skin or in my hair. I have no dullness, anything. And I'm losing pretty much everywhere, not just in one specific area. So I'll do the pictures when I go to my meeting on the 18th again. Um, you know, hopefully I've lost weight. We'll see. If I didn't, then I won't take pictures. All right. So expect that there would be no video next week. There will be a video the following week, and that's going to be somewhere around the 20th of the month. All right. Thank you all for all of your comments. I have a lot of gals who've told me how much they've lost. I can't remember all of your names. I'm going to have to put a list together, but there's a lot of you who are doing the um, Weight Watcher program alongside of me. Some of you have had great results. I'm reading comments about eight pounds here, five pounds there, three pounds. Somebody lost seven pounds the first week. So I'm very happy that you guys are doing this with me. I'm hoping that I keep encouraging you and motivating you to do this. Do it for yourself, girls. Just do it. Don't wait. The holidays are coming upon us. Shed those extra pounds so you don't have to feel guilty during the holidays or beat yourself over the head for having gained yet another five pounds. Just do it. Spend the next, you know, five weeks taking care of yourself, looking better for those pictures, feeling good, feeling good about yourself and keeping motivated. All right. I'll talk to you later. Bye.